Hi, I'm Karen from Cafe Bebe, and I am addressing a topic on Brit Mums today, and the topic is nursery. When is the best time to start for your child? Um, personally, for us, um, I really wish that we would have sent Ella a little bit earlier than we did. We began nursery for Ella in January of this year. Um, when she was oh, about two and a half, basically. Um, our, <laughs> unfortunately, I really couldn't have done nursery any sooner because technically um, the children have to be two and a half years old <clears throat> at our local um, nursery to attend. Although we could have done uh, another nursery in the village next to us where they could be any age. But our particular nursery is associated with our school. Um, it is a pri uh, just a local village primary school and the nursery is a part of it, not directly attached to it, but it is a part of it. So the children have to be two and a half to attend. But um, Ella has thoroughly enjoyed virtually every second of being at nursery. She, um, from the minute we started going, she had no problem separating from me. I was the one who was crying after I left her. I didn't do it in front of her, mind you. We had a few, few days where um, I did have to peel her off of me and leave her sobbing with one of the teachers, but as everybody knows, she was fine within minutes of me leaving. Um, but it has made such a difference to my life and to Ella's life, um, putting her in nursery. And um, I don't regret having the time at home with her for two and a half years and not having any other outside influence. But um, I see how much she has benefited from being in nursery. And um, I, I really wish that we could have had an opportunity to, to put her in a little bit earlier. Um, thankfully, our local nursery is very affordable, um, although still a budget issue for us. It's um, three pounds an hour for our school and um, we pay on a monthly basis and it's still sort of slightly archaic because you write out an actual check to pay your school fees. Um, but the staff are wonderful, they're very caring. Um, she, Ella has a wonderful key worker called Caroline who um, is always very communicative about everything Ella's doing and because of that, um, in the autumn term when Ella is eligible for her 15 hours of free nursery placement Thank you, government. Um, we will be actually doing three full days in a row, um, doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I want her to start to be um, getting ready for more of a transition to school, spending an entire day eating a hot lunch, which they um, provide, which we pay for. And... Um, you know, getting ready for the big transfer up to big school so it won't be such a, a, a tra traumatic situation for her. Um, I think we did really well in the two and a half years, Ella and I, um, before attending nursery. We went to classes through our local Sure Start Children's Center. We um, had play groups with friends, and, and she certainly didn't miss out on any of the um, early development years. CBBs was a, a very crucial part of that time as well because um, it's very educational. Um, but as far as nursery goes, I think you know it's down to every individual family. It depends on on what your abilities are. And thankfully, I've been able to stay home with Ella. So um, for us, it, it was an, an option, a choice as to when and where we put her into school. I didn't look into any other schools other than our village school. It is literally maybe a five minute walk. We walk out our front door, across the road, and and the school path is literally across the street and it takes five minutes so for me um, it's extremely handy it, it's a lovely school and I don't regret one second of putting Ella in nursery so what do you feel what do you think are the benefits that your child has has seen from attending nursery why wouldn't you put your child in nursery um, these are all important questions that parents have to ask themselves and I'd love to know what you think so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you another time on video blogging from Cafe Bebe